Understanding medications 1.0. Okay, um, before we dive into medications, we got to explain what everything is. Um, and we're going to start with antidepressants. Um, let's begin. Antidepressants, a discussion on the different types of antidepressants. Believe it or not, there's more than just selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, which is what people generally think they're being prescribed, but there's actually two types of SSRIs. There's, there's SSRIs and then there's atypical antidepressants, and we're going to go over that. There are many different types of drugs used in treatment of depression, including selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, inhibitors, SSRIs, atypical antidepressants, tricyclic antidepressants, and monamine oxidis inhibitors, MAOIS. Um, okay, so uh, to begin with, serotonin reuptake inhibitors, they mainly focus on serotonin. These, the, these are all the different types of antidepressants. Um, atypical antidepressants focus on something slightly different. We'll get to that. And uh, tri tricyclic and MAOIs um, are older classes that are generally not used as much. SSRIs. We got Prozac, Luvox, Zoloft, Paxil, Lexapro, Selexa. These are good examples of SSRIs. Um, SSRIs generally focus on serotonin in the brain and serotonin is thought to be one of the major causes in um, in depression as well as uh, alleviating anxiety. Um, paroxetine or Paxil does uh, seems to be especially effective in relieving anxiety. I'm a big advocate of Paxil. Um, it does uh, does have some problems, the SSRIs. The, uh, they, uh, they, like any antidepressant, are, can be tricky to get off of um, or to wean yourself off of and stop taking it. Paxil has something known as ZAPS. Um, it's, uh, it's a, uh, it's an ignorant term to describe something that your brain is going through as it, it's, it's like, uh, I guess, miniature shocks, if you will. Um, Luvox is a good drug for upset, uh, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Prozac is a monumental drug, one of the first in the class of SSRIs. But all these are good drugs that represent SSRIs. Now, if you look down here, you see nausea, insomnia, dizziness, weight gain or loss. Um, there is more weight gain than there is weight loss um, in antidepressants. Um, it just seems like a, a lot of people gain weight in antidepressants, or they don't. They, they. I mean, it's it's just one of the things that are high up there on the uh, on the level of all the antidepressants: weight gain or weight loss. Um, also, decreased sex drive. That seems to be a big issue for a lot of people, and we'll get to that in a second. Atypical antidepressants. Atypical antidepressants. Generic names, brands. Uh, well, there's Wellbutrin, Cymbalta, Effextra, Remeron. Um, the, these are, um, well, Butrin is actually unique. Uh, it focuses mainly on dopamine and norepinephrine. Um, it is actually can pep you up. Uh, um, it, it, a better term would, to describe it would be energize you. Um, atypical antidepressants <clears throat> focus more on the relocation of norepinephrine and dopamine in the brain. Um, as well as some of them focus on serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. But they distribute it to other parts of the brain. Um, uh, I, I don't know how to make it more clear than that. Um, well, butrin, for example, inhibits dopamine and norepinephrine in certain parts of the brain and redistributes it to different neuron trans neuron tra transmitters. Um, but uh, like Remeron, for example, is uh, focuses on serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. They all all these drugs basically do the same thing, but. Um, they work in slightly different orders. Um, atypical antidepressants tend to be more sedating. Remeron, for example, can be used for sleep. Uh, they will, I mean, a starting dose would be 15 milligrams. If the doctor doesn't think you are sleeping well enough, he might cut it down to 7.5 because Remeron is one of those tricky drugs that if you decrease it by half of its worth, uh, if you divide 15 by, se by 2, you get 7.5, and that's actually more sedating than 15 milligrams. Believe it or not, the less Remeron you take, the more sedating it is. Um, uh, but uh, these are all atypical antidepressants, and they all work slightly differently than the SSRIs, because SSRIs focus on serotonin, which is a chemical in the brain that uh, is thought to be related to uh, depression and anxiety, um, 
while these focus on the redistribution of dopamine and norepinephrine and even the possible uh, effect of serotonin in the brain. So it affects all three things. A and atypical antidepressants and um, as well as um, as well as SSRIs are the most prescribed. That doesn't mean they're the best. Um, I've seen people who are, are successful on uh, tricyclics. Um, and we'll get to that in a moment. But Wellbutrin also has less side, side effects, uh, sexual side effects, and th that can also be po popular. Wellbutrin is, a, is an odd drug to fit in this category because it seems to do, uh, I mean, it, there, there are drugs like it and other drugs like it, but it's a very popular drug to use because it has very few side effects as far as sexually, uh, sexual side effects. And um, it also it can be used as kind of like a miniature stimulant, okay? But these these atypical antidepressants generally are um, uh, atypical and SSRIs are generally pretty effective, um, and they replace they replace uh, the tricyclic antidepressants, and they replace uh, I mean they replace uh, the, all the old antidepressants because tricyclic antidepressants, for example. Um, which focuses on um, serotonin and norepinephrine, I think. Let me think. Yes, ser serotonin and norepinephrine. Uh, actually, you know, all these things focus on serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. When it comes right down to it, they all focus on, on the three things, but they, but they focus it on in different ways. And um, tricyclic antidepressants um, have many more um, side effects than atypical and SSRIs, our modern-day antidepressants. That's why they're used more often. But that doesn't mean that they necessarily work for everybody. And why they, why some work and some don't, we're not really sure. I mean, we could hypothesize, but in the end, um, we just, ex it seems like uh, the community just accepts that some drugs work and some drugs don't work. And the question why is, well, it's, it's always being debated. Um, but tricyclic antidepressants are, um, have many, many um, more side effects. And uh, let's go on. Tricyclics, tricyclics are among the oldest antidepressants. They, are, they work by inhibiting the brain's reuptake or serotonin or norepinephrine. They also partially inhibit the reabsorption of dopamine. So like I said, it affects serotonin and norepinephrine, but it also affects dopamine. All these drugs work similarly, but... I mean, if we put it under a microscope, yeah, we could probably fine-tune it and bring out 10 PowerPoint presentations on why, uh, or 100, on why it works this way. I mean, there, there's, there's studies that are always ongoing about different hypotheses on why some work and some don't. The um, fact of the matter is, it doesn't really matter as long as, you know, it works. And I noticed Elevil is here. Um, that, that is the one that I see the most prescribed of the tricyclics. If your doctor prescribes an MAOI, you will have to carefully monitor what you eat and what drugs you take. Items that are restricted include many cheeses, chocolate, wine, and beer. Um, they have something called, uh, they, have a, they have a chemical in it uh, that affects the brain. And... Um, you, you, you can't, you, I mean, you got to stay away from a lot of different things. MAOIs are, are good, I think, but they have so many side effects, they're just not used very much today. And um, you also have to be off of a SSRI for uh, five weeks, I believe, at least five weeks before you can start an MAOI. Um, the problem is that... Uh, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just, a, it's a category of drugs that uh, that uh, can wreak havoc if you do the wrong thing, and so they're very rarely prescribed. Um, but other than that, I mean, they all focus on basically the same thing: serotonin, uh, dopamine, and or epinephrine. Serotonin, cause of anxiety, depression, dopamine. I mean, all, all three of these are chemicals in the brain, and when you circulate the chemicals. Um, and you do things to them, you get different outcomes and, and different results. Good day, good night, good mental health.